Seniors, good morning. It's March 30th. Uh, we're headed into week two of online learning. Ben Franklin, still here though. I'm going to go to the board this week and we're going to go through some of the things there. Notice I still got my tie on, going pink this week. Um, just to talk about this, this is the first thing that you should do as you are getting ready for the week. So if you don't watch this video, you're probably not going to understand everything that you should be doing. Sorry to be bouncing around, but uh, well, anyway, I'm carrying the computer with me because it's easier for me. Hopefully it's okay for you. So the first thing that I'm going to show you are some of the things that are due for you this week. The first thing oops, sorry, are your journals. You have three journals, and it should pop up under your classwork button on Google. First one's about immigration. I also included the link to that, that page, but you already have it. There's four options. I want you to select which one you think the United States should use moving forward and why. That's your first journal for the week. The second one is the stimulus package that Congress and the President just signed on Friday. How will that affect you? Are you going to get to see any of it? Uh, maybe you should visit with your parents about that. I have children that are saying, well, we should get our money. That's not always quite the case. So anyway, um, I included a link for you. I believe it's from ABC News. Go ahead and read the article if you don't know anything about it. That should give you a little bit to go on, but I would assume that most of the kids that are looking at this video, your parents are due a stimulus, or you, depending on if you file uh, independently, but I don't, I don't think most of you, probably your parents claim you still, so they're going to get a little money for you. In fact, $500 per kid. The third journal question up here is, where are you going to college? What's your plan for the future? Obviously, with what we're going through right now, um, I'd kind of like to know. Usually, I ask that of seniors in the last quarter. Well, since you're all maybe not going to be in this classroom again, I'd kind of like to know. So tell me what your plans are for next. And just, just plan on COVID hopefully getting handled by the time college starts. So anyway, I kind of like to know that. It's more for just me personally. The second thing that I want to do this week is, I'm tired of holding that. Second thing I want to do is, I would like to uh, Zoom with you this week. I would like you to Zoom, I would like to Zoom on uh, either 9 o'clock or 1 p.m. on Thursday. So you got to get your schedule rearranged so that somehow you can make one of those two meetings. Okay, please do that. Um, I want to connect with you. Hopefully you want to connect with me and notice I am I am as comfy as can be I got jogging pants on got but I do have my tie and I got a sweatshirt and uh, When you come to the meeting I don't, Be comfortable. So where whatever you got to do to make this work make it work the last thing is uh, I know some of you are gonna grumble when I bring this up, but guys According to LB399, we need to do one of our three options that I talked to you about in class. And uh, unfortunately, this is where we're heading into the final project. So, it says to follow the video, write what you selected on uh, Google Classroom. That'll make more sense here in a second. Maybe I can get it all in there. That might work. Okay, so we got LB399 here again. This is what I put on the assignment page. You can read this again on that uh, on the classwork. But completion of the project of the paper and a class presentation between the commencement of eighth grade and senior uh, twelfth grade 
on a person or persons or an event commemorated by a holiday listed below. And I actually went through and listed all of the things that are on LB399. Uh, we got George Washington's birthday. We got Abraham Lincoln's birthday. We got Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. We've got Native American Heritage Day. We've got the Constitution Day. We've got Memorial Day. We've got Veterans Day. We've got Thanksgiving Day. Hopefully that reduces the glare. Yeah, no, it didn't really. Um, you have to choose one of these eight to do the project or paper in the class presentation on. Now, what I did is I broke this down over here to help you understand that a little bit better right where my hand's at. So basically, uh, you got to choose one of these people or events. So you could choose George Washington. You could choose Abraham Lincoln. You could choose Martin Luther King. You could choose a famous Native American. You could choose the Constitution in general, which we have dissected already first semester. Um, in accordance with Memorial Day, what, what, why Memorial Day is important to you and who do you honor each year? It's kind of how I broke that down uh, with Veterans Day right here. Uh, why Veterans Day is important to you and who do you honor and why? And then Thanksgiving Day. You know, this one probably might take on a whole new meaning this year, uh, especially if you went through the floods of last year and then this year with COVID. Still yet to be seen for all of us, uh, depending on how much of it makes it into our area. But uh, what are you truly thankful for in the United States of America when it comes to Thanksgiving Day? Now, obviously, we would have to project a little bit towards uh, uh November, but this is how I broke down LB399. Now, again, remember, basically, you've got two things that you need to complete. You got to do a project or a paper. Then you have to present it in class. Now, this part right here gets a little bit different. I'll just kneel. This part right here gets a little bit different, but I think that what we can do is we can get pretty creative. I think you guys probably have some good ideas along with me as well. I, you know, worst case, I think we could always zoom in and, uh, you know, as, as we get closer to the end of the month, whenever somebody's ready, you can present, or we can just set one time where everybody just presents. And uh, I think that that, might be the best way to go, or maybe individual presentations with me. That's not a lot of fun. Uh, usually, it's a lot better to have a small group. In fact, maybe that's the route we go. Maybe groups of, uh, we got 26 kids in the senior class. Maybe we go a couple groups of eight, a couple groups of nine. And uh, I think that maybe, or actually, yeah, like always, my math is wrong. But uh, Whatever 26 divides into two groups of six and a couple groups of seven. There we go. Um, but maybe that's the best way to go. Group one, group two, group three, and group four, and just uh, split it right down the alphabet. Um, so let me know your thoughts when we get to the Zoom on Thursday, if that's maybe the best way to go. I'm kind of spitballing here. But uh, <clears throat> I hope things are going all right for you. Um, as I'm recording this on Sunday, the sun's shining. I wish I was outside, but I'm in here trying to load for you. And so at least you have this to go on. But again, you need to be able to watch this right away at the beginning of the week. The first thing I want you doing uh, for the week are your journals. Then we're going to Zoom later this week. Look forward to that. And then we got starting on the final project. LB399. Thank you again. Have a great week. March 30th, 2020, in the midst of COVID-19.